There are literally hundreds of power stations that you can choose from on the market. I've covered dozens of these in the past. DJI's Power 1000 really stands out in a few key ways. With the Power 1000, DJI has taken the traditional power station and kind of tweaked and refined what it's capable of. Now, this is the same size as other 1000 watt hour power stations that are out there on the market, but it is much more powerful. The DJI Power 1000 is a light and compact 1024 watt hour power station that can provide maximum power to tons of appliances. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the DJI Power 1000. Big shout outs to DJI for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and get started. First up, let's get this out of the box and see what all we're working with. Right up top, we've got our AC power cord. We've got our user manual. It looks like it came with a DJI sticker there as well. And lastly, we have the DJI Power 1000. DJI also sent out this car outlet to SDC converter and also an SDC to car outlet converter. Let's take a closer look at the DJI Power 1000. Front and center you have your display. This is gonna tell you what ports are turned on or in use. It's gonna tell you the battery percentage that's left, about how much time it'll take to deplete the battery with what's plugged in, plus your uh, input and output wattage. Over here you've got your AC outlets. These are just standard house outlets. You can turn that on and off with the button. You've got two standard USB ports. And then right here, you've got two 140 watt ports. That's enough juice to charge two 16 inch MacBook Pros at full power. So a total wattage output from these two of 280 watts. Right here, you've got your port for charging the Power 1000. You can charge this unit at up to 1200 watts. And then I'm super excited about this Smart DC and Smart DC Lite port. These ports are bi-directional, so you can use this for your solar charging, or you could use your car charger adapter here to charge this with the car. With another adapter, you can use this port to charge your DJI Mavic 3 battery, for instance, in about 32 minutes. For me, the most impressive thing about the Power 1000 is its ability to output 25% more power than similarly sized power stations on the market. Most other power stations that are this size have surge power up to 1800 watts. The Power 1000 has continuous power at 2200 watts. So that means you're gonna be able to operate a microwave at full power, hair dryer at full power, without having to worry about insufficient power output. I tested this out with an electric hot plate and it ran that at the same time as a hair dryer, and it was able to run at 2200 watts, even a little bit more than 2200 watts continuously without powering down the power station. If you are in a situation like this where you need to run a high powered appliance or a couple of high powered appliances, this can actually run at 2600 watts for up to 30 seconds. Also tested that out with the hot plate and a coffee maker, and this was able to run up to 2600 watts for up to 30 seconds without powering down the power station. Usually inverters are able to provide surge power for appliances that need quick startup power. For instance, an electric chainsaw needs that quick burst of energy to get going and then once it's going, it doesn't need so much energy. The DJI Power 1000 is able to peak at up to 4,400 watts. There's virtually no appliance that this wouldn't be able to handle with that startup surge. Another thing that I love about the Power 1000 is just how quiet it is. It runs at about 23 decibels, so you can sleep while this thing charges, and it's not gonna be polluting the sound environment of your home. All right, so this is how quiet it is. I'm gonna put the microphone up to the unit so you guys can hear. It's not even as loud as my refrigerator or my desktop PC, it's very quiet. Okay, and just for comparison's sake, here's the sound of another power station that I have. While it's not crazy loud, it's still loud enough to kind of be a distraction in the home. The DJI Power 1000 charges fast, so the actual power station can fully recharge from zero to 100% in under 70 minutes. With just 50 minutes of charging, you can actually get an 80% charge. We just plugged this in and started charging here. We're on the 1200 watt mode and we're running at almost 1200 watts. This says that we should be fully charged in 66 minutes. It's currently 333. 
So we'll come back at 4.33 and check this out and see how far along we are. All right, so it is currently 4.33 and we are at 100%. So in an hour's time, we're able to get from zero to 100%. This is also able to power up and charge all of your other devices very quickly. It does have a couple of USB-A ports, but I really love the fact that it has two 140 watt USB-C ports. You no longer have to carry around the charge brick for your laptop or your tablet or your cell phone. You can just plug those directly into the Power 1000. This is powerful enough to power two 16 inch MacBook Pros at 140 watts with a maximum output on those two USB-C ports of 280 watts. This means that you'll be able to charge two 16 inch MacBook Pros from zero to 50% in about 30 minutes. I don't have a 16 inch MacBook Pro, so I wasn't able to get the full 140 watts out of the Power 1000 because my MacBook Pro 14 is not capable of charging at 140 watts. However, this was still able to power up two MacBook Pros and charge them quickly. This MacBook is at 0%. I can't even power it up, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. All right, and right away, that's charging. And we'll do the same for this other MacBook. This MacBook is currently at 35%. These are each charging at about 60 watts, which is what they're capable of charging at. So we're running at 120 watts. If you had two 16 inch MacBook Pros, you'd be getting 280 watts of output. All right, so we got these charging. Um, the top was at 35%, the bottom one was at 0%. It is currently 447, so we'll come back in half an hour and see where these are. Okay, so we just hit 30 minutes on our charge test. It's 518 right now. And on the first MacBook Pro, I'm sitting at 48%. So this was able to hit almost 50% in 30 minutes. And then on the second MacBook, I'm at 67%. We did start at 35%, um, but still, we're running at about 50% in 30 minutes. Another thing that I'm really excited about is the Smart DC and Smart DC Lite ports on this machine. So this is especially useful for photographers or videographers that use DJI equipment like the Air 3 or Mavic 3 drones. With the correct cord, you're able to charge the drone batteries incredibly fast, faster than you can deplete them in flight. You can get from 10% to 95% in just 30 minutes on the Air 3 or in 32 minutes on the Mavic 3 series. If you had two drone batteries, you could potentially swap those out and just continue filming indefinitely with your drone. The Power 1000 has a UPS mode that can seamlessly power switch in just 12 to 20 milliseconds. This means in UPS mode, if the power goes out, you won't even notice. You'll continue to be able to use your appliances or your desktop computer without any interruption. Currently, I'm running my entire desk setup. So my gaming PC, my large monitor, even my lighting setup here, and even my desk off of the Power 1000. So to simulate the power outage, I'm just gonna go ahead and unplug the unit in three, two, one. Okay. And my computer's still on. My screen's still on, lights are still on. I didn't even see a flicker and everything's still up and running. Overall, the DJI Power 1000 is an innovative, very powerful power station that you can take with you or that you can use for backup power in emergency situations. I especially like the fact that this is able to put out more power than other power stations in the same size category. And I love those double 140 watt USB ports. If you're looking for a high-end power station to power up all of your devices, then the Power 1000 by DJI is definitely a great option. I'll be sure to include links in the description of where you can pick this up for yourself. You can pick up the DJI Power 1000 at a highly discounted rate during Black Friday. I'll be sure to include all the details and information about the Black Friday event in the description below. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.